Destroyers are the second ship you gain access to in Stellaris, and they are in many ways just a bigger, slower version of a corvette. Unlike corvettes, destroyers don't have the same absurd level of evasion that corvettes do. Corvettes are one of the strongest ships in game, and destroyers might be the weakest ship in Stellaris. But they have their place. Destroyers, ironically, are easily destroyed as they get up and close to the battle, but without high armor and shields like battleships, or the high evasion of corvettes, destroyers get swatted out of the air like flies. The reason I have brought up corvettes is the fact that most players treat destroyers as simply larger corvettes. This is the wrong way to use destroyers and doesn't fit their strengths. But what I have found through my time in Stellaris and what I have seen on the forums is destroyers are best used as either point defense ships or small artillery ships. While the point defense utility holds water and I will cover why in a moment, the artillery ship build only makes sense if you don't have any ship type above destroyers researched. Out of all the ships that have large weapons, destroyers have the highest base alloy to large weapon slot cost as well as the highest cost of command points to large weapon slots. This means out of all the ship types, destroyers cost the most alloys to use as artillery and you will get the smallest possible amount of artillery for your command points. They are the worst possible artillery ship, but something is better than nothing so if you only have corvettes and destroyers, then there is an argument for their use as artillery. Now let's look at the real use of destroyers, point defense. Since fighters function as point defense, I will consider them as point defense, and I may cover what point defense is best in the future. Even when we consider hangars as point defense, destroyers provide the most point defense per alloy and per command point, meaning when you want point defense, destroyers provide a great way to get a ton cheap. I would put them back with your bigger ships to defend them, but this means you will rarely do actual damage and you will only make a big difference against missiles and torpedoes. As a result, the score of your fleet may not represent the damage output against energy and kinetic weapon fleets while being underrepresented versus explosive fleets. What I would do is upon getting destroyers using the artillery bow with a large kinetic weapon of the highest level you have and setting them as far back as possible while remaining in range. Once you unlock cruisers, or if you don't like cruisers, once you get destroyers, Use them as artillery and switch your destroyers to picket ship bows and sterns with your preferred point defense and build new ones when your opponent uses torpedoes or missiles. If you plan to run carriers, the use of destroyers is almost pointless and you shouldn't spend your resources on those ships, you should spend them elsewhere on building other ships or on building up your economy. I would like to see destroyers worked on by Paradox so they have more uses than they currently do as basically they are oversized, slow, easy to kill corvettes that are only useful when your opponent uses one very specific kind of weapon.